What's up, guys? This is Coop17 coming right at you with another with a, another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about a game review. Yes, this will be the first time I'm, I'm going to do a game review on the channel. It's going to be now. Some of them are going to be about the games I enjoyed playing throughout the years of my life. So, anyways, today my game review is going to be about Final Fantasy VI, or as you can say, Final Fantasy III in the U.S. But Right now, I'm going to go with Final Fantasy VI, what it's originally called. So anyways, according to this article right here, it says, Final Fantasy VI, also known as Final Fantasy III in the U.S., is a role-playing game developed by Square Enix, also known as, used to be known as Squaresoft. It was released in 94 as the sixth title of the mainline of the Final Fantasy series. And so, this game was also released, it's, it's originally released on Super Nintendo, but it's also released on the Super Nintendo Classic, though. Now, I, I, I tend to play Final Fantasy VI, though, but I'm not really into Final Fantasy games, but I enjoy, I enjoy playing Final Fantasy VI a lot, though. So anyways, it was also, it also had its remakes on, um... On um, PlayStation as well as Game Boy Advance, and it was on Nintendo Wii's Virtual Console back in um, 2011. But however, Final Fantasy IV, aka Final Fantasy II in the U.S., did not get a Virtual Console release, when I, which I thought it really should, though. So, anyways, um, I'm going through. Um, it, it is. However, in my book, I think it's one of the uh, it is the second best um Final Fantasy games in the series though overall. I think Final Fantasy 7 is the best because um of Cloud, you know. Cloud's even in Super Smash Bros. So anyways, um yeah, I have re-releases on PlayStation and Nintendo consoles. So anyways, the gameplay. Here's here's what I'm going to go over is the gameplay. Final Fantasy has four basic modes of of gameplay in an overworld map, town and dungeon field maps, a battle screen, a menu screen, a menu screen. The overworld map is a scaled down version of a game's fictional world, which the player uses direct characters to various locations. And then, of course, what you can do is also travel by foot, or use a chocobo, or use an airship with a with a Few plot-driven explanations. Enem enemies are randomly encountered on field maps on and on the overworld when traveling by foot. The menu screen is where the player makes such makes such decisions in which characters will be travel will be which characters will be in the traveling party, which equipment they wield, the magic they learn they learn, and the configuration of the gameplay. It's also used to it's also used to track experience points and levels. The game's plot develops as the player progresses through towns and dungeons. Town citizens will offer help, helpful information, and some residents own items or equipment shops. Later, the in the game, visiting certain towns will activate side quests. Yeah, dungeons appear in a variety as a variety of areas, including caves, forests, and buildings. These dungeons ha often have treasure chests containing rare items that are not available in most stores. Dungeons may feature puzzles and mazes, with some dungeons requiring the player to divide the characters into multiple parties must work together to advance through the dungeon. So, anyways, as on this screen, on the screen that I'm looking at right here, though. Is that um unlike Final Fantasy IV though on the Super Nintendo, you're actually you have like four characters in the um in the party, and it's also and also Final Fantasy VI is a menu base in which the player selects the battle commands. However, the um they have like ability. But some characters have special abilities to use unique attacks though. Like in this screenshot here, um. Terra though uses which I'll get to her later though uses the um Esper while Locke uses um 
while Locke uses the um steal where he where he steals items from monsters. Edgar uses the bow and arrow or weapons like chainsaw or drill and not shown in the picture that I'm looking at. Celis uses runic to absorb magic most magical attacks as until her next turn. Yeah, and the customization is um something that that's important though because um or because you see relics though prevent magical spells that I it's not yeah and so the world and so we're going to the setting here. The world of Final Fantasy VI changes dramatically. During the first half of the game, the planet is referred to as a world of balance and is divided into three lush continents. Contents. The northern continent, continent is punctuated by a series of mountain ranges. The southern continent is, has been mostly sub subjuncted, I hope I'm saying that right though, by a cruel Geshel Empire, and the eastern is home to the Veldans. And uh, it's constretched to medieval settings featured in previous Final Fantasy titles. They also have opera, they also have the opera set theater and the fine arts serving, and there's recurring moths throughout the game. Level technology comparable to the to that of the second industrial revolution. All right, so now we go on to the characters. You play as a, a total up to fourteen playable characters. That's pretty much a that's the most in any game in the main series, as well as several secondary characters. I won't list them all, but you get the idea if you've played Final Fantasy VI. All right, so now the story revolves around this. This girl named Terra, an Imperial officer and magic user, accompanies two Imperial soldiers as they carry out a mission to locate and seize a frozen esper in the town of Narshi. Upon locating it, a magical reaction occurs between Terra and the frozen esper. As a result, two the two Imperial soldiers are killed and Terra is knocked unconscious. Upon waking up, Terra is informed that the Empire had been using a mind control crown to control her actions. With the crown removed, Terra now suffers amnesia, amnesia excuse me, and cannot remember anything more than her name. Terra is then introduced as a, to a member of, the, of, of a rebel organization known as the Returners, who promises to protect her until she can regain her memory. The Returners request Terra's help to, in their revolution against the Empire. With no memory but an extremely rare ability to use magic, Terra agrees. The characters learn that the Imperial soldiers, led by an officer named Kefka, are poised to make another attempt at seizing a, the frozen Esper located in Narshi. With the help of a former Imperial general tra turned traitor, Celis, a girl named Celis, the characters successfully defend the frozen esper from Kefka's forces. Terra experiences another magical reaction with the frozen esper, transforming into a, a creature resembling an esper flying off the, the continent. Upon locating Terra, the party is confronted by an esper named Rama, who informs the group that Terra may require, require an, the assistance of another esper, imprisoned by the Empire's Magic Tech Research Facility, located in the Imperial City of Vector. And that's how, and this, and this is, the, that's the, that's part of the story. I'm not going to try to spoil a lot if, if you haven't beat, played or beaten Final Fantasy VI as of yet. So yeah, that's my point in the story. So... I'm just going through a few articles. The music is pretty good, but not as good as Final Fantasy IV, so that's in my opinion, that is. So, and there were re-releases, too. 
there was a re-release on the um, PlayStation 1. There was also a re-release on the Game Boy Advance, which I want to get. Well, I want to get at some point. There was a re-release on the Wii U Virtual Console. I mean, I mean, excuse me, Wii Virtual Console and the PlayStation Network. It was also released on Android, iOS, Windows, and of course SNES Classic, which I'm currently playing that right now. I do have a Nintendo Super Nintendo Classic Edition, and that's why I like I like Final Fantasy VI a lot, though. So yeah, the yeah, so that's how the this that's how the the this is that's how the um that that's how that's how good this game is, though, you know. So yeah. Anyways, guys, um, from my perspective, though, if you if you guys really enjoy if you enjoy playing Final Fantasy VI, I mean, I mean, if you guys are not really into Final Fantasy VI, the I mean, Final Fantasy series, though, like me, though, I would highly recommend you guys to play Final Fantasy VI, though, and just give it a try, even if you're not really into that, or better yet, Final Fantasy VII. But I could get to that to, for another time, though. But yeah, if you're not really into Final Fantasy games like like me though, then I'd highly suggest you guys if you want to give Final Fantasy a try, I suggest some um, Final Fantasy 6 is the best way to go. So what well, anyways guys, this is Coop17 signing out and I will see you guys later.